I figured out how to push Minecraft graphics past anything the world has ever seen without needing an SS supercomputer to run. Here's how I did it, and how you can do it too. Did I mention that the clip playing right now is recorded in real time and has no effects applied to it? When most people upgrade Minecraft graphics, they try to turn the game into something that it isn't. They try to make it realistic, mythical, or look like another game. Today, we are upgrading Minecraft graphics while staying true to its unique feel. No high-res texture packs here. This video is based around Java Edition Fabric Slash Quote 1.20.1, so keep that in mind. All mods and shaders I use will be linked in the description of this video. Also, for some context about the world used in the currently playing B-roll, this is Flat SMP, a super flat server I'm a part of. Go check out the other server members linked below, they make amazing content. First up, you're gonna want Sodium. This absolute essential mod will make your game run much, much better, and is compatible with all the mods that I show today. I'd also recommend Sodium Extra for some added configuration options. A quick tip with Sodium Extra is setting your graphics to fast and your leaves quality to fancy. This will make your game look identical to fancy graphics, but run much better for some unknown reason. There's also this mod called Bobby. Surprisingly few people know about its true potential, but it allows you to expand your visual render distance at truly minimal performance cost without sacrificing quality. Bobby is mainly known as the mod that allows you to see beyond a server's render distance, and while this is true, there's so much more you can do that you probably didn't know about. The extra chunks it renders on servers are purely rendered visually and aren't interactable like normal chunks. Unknown to most players, by using mod menu, you can configure Bobby to do some pretty crazy stuff. The first thing you'll want to do is set your max render distance up to 120. I've tested higher render distances, although for some odd reason the nether is pitch black above 120 chunks of render distance, at least without shaders. For the masters out there, yes, I do mean 120 exactly, not 128. Next up, set your single player server view distance to whatever your previous render distance was. This will make Bobby treat your single player world as a server, allowing for insane render distances without insane lag via visual only chunks. You should already be able to set your render distance extremely high without too many consequences. But one condition to this that I thought I should mention is that Bobby can't visually render new chunks, meaning that if you're exploring a new area, chunks will only render according to the server render distance. However, you'll be able to see the chunks you've already visited up to whatever crazy render distance you choose. Okay, so we've already expanded Minecraft's render distance greatly, all with truly minimal performance costs. But oh, we're just getting started. But before we take these graphics even further, I want to remind you to subscribe. It's free, and it helps out my channel more than you could ever know. Just liking the video would go a long way. Sub so, log over, let's get back to upgrading Minecraft's graphics. The other mod that we'll be using today is a lot more well known. Introducing the one, the only, Irish Shaders. The actual shader pack this upgrade uses is a heavily customized version of Complementary Unbound. I took it upon myself to create the flat out prettiest shaders ever. I changed a lot of the shader settings, and when that wasn't enough, I went into the shader code and changed that up too. There are actually two files you need for these shaders, put both in your shader packs folder, and you'll have the shaders all ready to go, configured, and everything. Here's a brief showcase of my custom complementary edit, shown alongside vanilla lighting and default complementary unbound. Those are some pretty insane graphics. I should probably note that although you won't need a NASA computer to run these settings, you probably won't be able to run this on a school-issued Chromebook or equally bad device. Comment what mods you would have liked to see talked about in this video. Remember that all files I used in this process are linked in the description, and while you're already down there, you might as well subscribe. With that, I will see you next time. Goodbye.